sometimes a stitch is a part of the design in which it's not just a thread going through the fabric, but it's woven into the fabric itself. In the Times Square, I'm in the center of the painting here, taking a picture of my wife right there. That's me. I'm going to go to the actual higher res version where we can see the detail of the stitching here. I'm going to come in real close, and we see that the fabric has a design made up of these little stitches that you see there. So I'm going to create that kind of a thing for you right now. Now let me pull back first, and we'll see that there are various paths for all those different lines that we see throughout here. Let's get a little closer here. And in our layers, we'll just turn on the background here and just see that by itself. And we'll look at the paths. There's the path for the shirt. There's pants down below. Here's the lines on the collar, which you see right up there. Here's the lines on the yoke of the shirt right there. And here's the lines on the back. All the lines that make up the pattern on the back of the shirt. There's lines on the front of the shirt, lines on the arm, quite a few lines there. Now these paths are all going to serve as guides to make our brush do what we want it to do. So now I'm going to go in here and create a new file where we're going to create that particular brush that made those little designs in the fabric. Now what it is, is just a little rectangular shape like that. Let's make it a little thicker, I like that. And I'm going to make it black. There it is. So now I can select that and turn that into a brush preset. We'll call this Design Stitch. So now I can throw it away. And we're going to make that brush behave the way we want it to. So I go in here and pick up that little stitch right there, which right now is doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the panel and give it some spacing. There's that spacing, just like we did with the embroidery and some of the others. But here, we're going to work globally now. I'm not going to go into shape dynamics and play around with the angles. No. Here I am going to set this to direction. I am going to bring the size and the angles down, but I am going to set the angle to direction. And I'm going to go back to brush tip shape, where I am going to play with this angle here. And I'm going to move those guys so that they're an angle. See? They are all working globally because I'm working with this control rather than the individual tips that you find on the shape dynamics. Here on the brush tip shape, it's working with all the strokes together. So you can see that they're all moving in that same direction. There we go. Bring that back down to zero. I thought that a couple were touching. They shouldn't. So there we go. That's down to zero. So now that we have that, we can go in there and create the shapes that are going to be our pattern. Now, the way it was done on the shirt is I have these shapes like so. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify these just to make it look like what I had in the shirt. So I'm going to take three right there like that. And I'm going to select the two outer ones and this one here. Those three. And I'm going to pick kind of a grayish tone like this. And I got the brush, which I'm going to reset its size, make it a little smaller, about like that. And in a layer, I'll go ahead and stroke that path. There it creates that shape. Then I'm going to get kind of a beige tone, about like this, and select that last path and go ahead and stroke that one. And there you can see that we have the pattern that was woven into the fabric made up of all these little stitches.